Hey everybody, this is Tim Grotman with another video tutorial on scripting with Playmaker. So if I'll refer to the previous tutorial that uh, walked through setting up a simple animation of moving uh, a box uh, interpolated between two points. I used the GUI to create that. In this tutorial, uh, we do the same thing with script so that uh, I use an editor script to add a menu item and selecting this one object trait finite state machine cube it will automatically create a game object it will attach the playmaker FSM and it will create the entire playmaker scene where it will position all these boxes, it will create the transitions it will uh, reference everything, add the finished states populate the actions, populate the states, all in script. So, and when it's done, when I hit play, it's going to move a, a simple game object cube, and it'll interpolate between uh, position 111 and position 555. You can see it has three states, so the first state, it uh, sets the the default values for a temporary position, an original position which is here, and then the target position over here. And it just keeps popping back and forth between state 2 and state 3. Alright, so here's how I set that up. If we look at our cube, we have three states. The state has a set vector action, uh, three of them actually, which set a variable. So if you look at the variables here, we have three vector, three variables for original, target, and a temporary variable to hold the interpolated position. In the state, the first state sets the default position, the default variables, and then transitions to state two. State 2 interpolates between the original position and the target position, storing the result in temp, temp, and it transitions over two seconds. Each frame it sets the position of the parent game object, which is just that cube. Then we transition to state 3, which does the opposite, transitions from the target to the original with an action over three seconds, setting positions over each frame. All right, so here's the good stuff. Let's start with setting up the initial state. So the script starts with, if we do a new scene, the script is going to do a create a game object. Actually, it's going to create a cube. So if we look at our script, we create a game object of a cube, name it finite state machine cube, assign a default position, a default rotation, default local scale, and then we do some of the stuff that uh, you do in the UI. So we select that game object. Let's see, so it would be like creating a, a cube zeroing the positions and then once you have the game, the cube selected going to playmaker and saying clicking add finite state machine to select it because this is the selected game object selection has a active game object and if you set that to any game object it will select that in the inspector and it will uh, make it so we can use the playmaker Add FSM to select it. All right. To start with, uh, there's some namespaces that you have to be uh, aware of. So you want Playmaker, Playmaker Actions, so we can add actions, and Playmaker Editor, so that we can call Finite State Machine Editor window to add the finite Playmaker Finite State Machine to the selected game object. To get access to that, Playmaker object, because if you look in the inspector, I'm doing the 
you see in, in the script. So I've created a, a my project create FSM cube, which is done with the menu item my project create FSM cube. Let's close this. Okay, I wanted to show you uh, the Playmaker stuff is hidden. You have to click this edit button to see the details. So I grabbed the Playmaker just using the game object get component to get the finite state machine. And then I create a finite state machine builder object. That's a, a Playmaker editor object that allows us to add actions to uh, states. All right, so in the PlayStation Maker Finite State Machine, it has a states property, but uh, those state property uh, are read-only. So you want to access the FSM Finite State Machine within Playmaker to access the writable states. And we're going to add three states. That is so we can correspond to the three states we have here. State 1, state 2, and state 3. Okay. We're, we construct the states uh, with new. Um, and it takes an argument of the finite state machine on the Playmaker FSM that was originally attached. Then we can name the state, and we position the state with a rectangle, which corresponds to the position of this rectangle of each uh, state that appears with the 2D points. All right. So we're populating an array of, of uh, finite state machine states, and created an instance of the finite state, state machine state, named it, and added the position. So we'll do that for all three states, state 1, state 2, and state 3. After we have the states, we need to add a finite state machine transition. That allows us to do these arrows. Each state needs to transition to the next state so that we can change states. Alright, so we set the a default transition on each state, states uh, 1, 2, and 3, and then uh, to do the arrow part, we are changing the, on the, in the state, there's a transitions property, and we'll just add one transition. So state 1 will transition to state 2, state 2 will transition to state 3, and state 3 will transition to state 2. Okay, we need to make sure the transition the transitions happen uh, on the, uh, the the finite state machine event of finished. So as each state finishes, it will transition to the next state. All right, so that'll set up the the arrows. Now we want to set uh, through script, set up some variables to the interpolation. So we want to add original target and temp vector threes. That is done by creating in a uh, in the finite state machines. There's a variables property and a vector three variables array. So we'll add three items to that array for original target and temp variables. And these lines of code here add the variables that you see here. Okay. Then we need to add the actions. And we have to use the builder object FSM builder to add tr 
actions that lets us add actions to the states. So in state one, it has three actions. Um, we use the action of set vector three value. It's going to set each each action. It's going to uh, use the original target and temp variables to assign uh, values. So here we've got the finite state machine states index zero corresponds to state one, the actions of state one. Um, okay, continuing on. Okay, so we were adding the actions for set vector three value. The actions are within a state. Use the builder actions to add them. And they take a vector three variable. And by they, I mean the set vector three value takes a vector variable and it takes a vector value. So we're going to be storing some values in original, target, and temp uh, variables. The values will be, um, you can, you can set values with either another variable or with a vector three. So uh, the, the first original uh, variable, since we don't have any variables yet, we're just, we're gonna default it to the position of one, one, one. Second variable target will default to five, five, five. And we're gonna use this variable to interpolate between 111 and 555. Now the third variable temp will just assign the original vector from the variable. And we do that by I'm using the playmaker finite state machine get fsm vector 3 uh, function to get the variable by name. These other guys are just constructed with a finite state machine vector 3 and then I make sure that the use variable flag is false. Okay so that's state 1. State 1 will finish immediately. Uh, all it is, is doing is setting some vectors. Then we have uh, the builder actions uh, that add actions to state 1 and state 2. Uh, and here we're just adding the action of vector 3 interpolate to both states uh, and then we add set position so we want to interpolate on, on state two and three and then right after interpolating we want to have the action for set position and here's the interpolation code so in playmaker the finite state machine we have the array of states for state two, it's actions. The, the first action uses vector three interpolate, and we specify the from vector. So this is our starting vector. We'll start from the original variable, and it will go to the target variable. So it'll go from one 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 to five five five. We specify time using a finite state machine float. So it will transition between the two points over two seconds and it will store the interpolated result in a temp variable. The finish event, when it's, it's reached the target, is finished. When it hits the finished event, that triggers it to switch from state two to state three. And we're on the state three. So this is state number three, <laughs> index two. So state number three has actions, the, the first action is the vector 3 interpolate, and we specify the from vector in the reverse order. So we're, the from vector starts at the target, 555, five, five. the 2 vector goes back to 111, one, one. time 
uses a finite state machine float. It's not a variable, its value is 3. So over 3 seconds we'll go from the target back to the original. We store the result in the temporary variable and the finishing event is finished. And when it hits finished it will transition from state 3 back to state 2. Here's our code to um, after it's interpolated, it fires the action, the second action, both to state two and state three, is to set position using the temporary variable. And that will set position on the owner game object, which is the queue. And we want it to happen every frame. Here's a little hack job I did. Um, through scripting, uh, I wasn't seeing the variables appear in the GUI right away, so for each state that you create through script, you want to save your actions. That will cause your stuff to serialize and then load the action, and it will deserialize everywhere that it's needed. So that probably happens because maybe internally PlayMaker might have different data structures for the GUI versus. Uh, the internal finite state machine, and so we just want to make sure that uh, they all sync up. So after you've scripted your actions, you want to save them and load them. And then for uh, just showing the example, I have Playmaker open its editor window so we can see what it's done. All right, so let's take a look at what happens. Play. Let's look at Playmaker at the same time. Now, state one executes so fast because it's just set position. It goes to state two, transitions from one one to five five five, hits the finished event, transitions to state three, which interpolates between the target position five 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 and Original position 111, it's the finished event state, transitions back to state 2, and then it just repeats going from the original to the target position, finishing, going from the target position to the original position, and finishing. All right, well, hopefully, this will get you started. I've only used some. Uh, just a few actions. Uh, there are many actions. Many, many actions in the action browser. And you would access each one similarly. similarly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I didn't use, I used the, all this hard-coded array syntax just to make things simple rather than declaring a bunch of variables. So you do something much cleaner, but uh, this should get you started and allow you to script without doing any GUI work. You can always do both, but this will let you script to some killer uh, Playmaker scripts to animate your scene. All right, hope you like this start. Give it a shot.